there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Now, moving on to manifestations or signs and symptoms, starting with fluid volume overload, also called hypervolemia. We see high fluid volume, like a big bulging body here. So just imagine a big water balloon filled to the max, right about to burst. Naturally, everything's going to be big and bulging, like a big old grape. So just think the body will present big and bulging with big fluid volume. Now on the other side, for fluid volume deficit, we see hypovolemia, low fluid volume with a low little body. So just imagine a shriveled up balloon that just popped. Naturally, everything will be skinny and shriveled just like a dried up raisin. So just think, the body will present low and little with low fluid volume. So we see weight loss as well as water loss. Again, another helpful memory trick for clients with fluid imbalance. And on the other side, for fluid volume overload, we see weight gain. This means water gain. So the key numbers to write down is two to three pounds in one day, and five pounds in seven days. This is a very helpful memory trick for clients with fluid imbalances. But as you know, this is not the case for all weight gain. Maybe it could be from that nursing school diet with all that junk food with high sodium and sugar during those all night study sessions. You know what I mean. Wait, wait, so how exactly does sodium enter the body? I don't know, this electrolyte stuff's confusing. So as for the key numbers here, please write it down two to three pounds in one day, and five pounds in seven days. This becomes very critical to save the lives of clients and worsening heart failure, also called heart failure exacerbation. So please write down these numbers because rapid weight gain means rapid water gain, leading to pulmonary edema and massive fluids inside the lungs, which can kill the client. So again, write down those key numbers. Now moving on to the cardiovascular system for fluid volume overload. We see high blood pressure, which can be very deadly. We're talking hypertension, 140 systolic, huge test tip. And another big test tip here is hypertension crisis, 180 systolic, huge risk for a stroke. Now this is priority since high blood pressure can kill the client via hypertension crisis, resulting in a stroke. We're talking blood pressure so high that it can rupture small little blood vessels within the brain, aneurysms here. And we also see increased central venous pressure, that CVP, with bounding pulses, big distended neck veins, called jugular vein distension, that JVD, and even distended veins within the hands and legs. Now on the other side, for fluid volume deficit, we see a low blood pressure, which can be very deadly, as well as orthostatic hypotension, huge test tip. Be sure to write this down. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.